Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I'll be showing you uh, the 6.0.1 Marshmallow ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Grandios. This is the resurrection ROM as you can see and it's based on Android 6.0.1 which is Marshmallow. So there you can see it's the latest version. So you get the game over here. So just for you to know that this is the Marshmallow. Let's do, yep, we got over one. There we go, two. Okay, so I'm gonna just okay. Uh, so the features you get in this ROM are very, very much. So you get many features. So you can see you, if you go into configurations, uh, here you get the status bar, the verification raw, quick panel settings, and many more. So you can just customize the clock, the battery status signal, battery percentage, battery bar, status bar icons. Uh, but you can basically do anything from over here you can even uh, enable the resection logo which as you can see enables the logo on the right there you go going back you can see the temperature brightness control that means you can con control your brightness from over here so that's pretty cool notification count you can show 4G instead of LTE 3G instead of HSPA and stuff uh, I don't have a sim card at the moment so I don't know if dual sim works or not but uh, you can just test it for yourself the verification drawer you can force expand customize the verification colors and things here going back quick panel settings you can uh, basically enable uh, the quick panel as you can see uh, I did uh, uh, the enlarge first row and now you get enlarge first row if I just to that you don't get any enlarged first row you can uh, also do the smart pull down and you can do quick pull down uh, so if you just pull down from right it basically shows each and every notification while from left it only shows the notification and not the quick toggle you can just adjust the tiles as well as you can see over here uh, so going back you can choose the colors for the QS uh, then again let's see <coughs> you can set the brightness slider brightness icon and things like that uh, you can even select the number of uh, tiles per row so you can just select four and there will be four tiles per row there you can see uh, so that's pretty cool going back into nav bar let's go back here to nav bar you can basically enable the on screen buttons uh, and off screen buttons so that's pretty cool you can go to buttons you can uh, change the things that you want to see uh, the buttons do so basically just short tap on the um, menu button to open the recent and stuff like that you can even uh, the uh, change the recents you can show the memory bar in recents as you can see the RAM uh, then you can do clear all button on the top right so there you can see uh, I'll just do bottom right so there you go on the bottom right then the recent style you can change the recent style as well custom clear all button you can change it as vertical lines let's say two and there you go you get the vertical lines so there are tons of features in this ROM as you can see going back you can show clock show date uh, there's also an option called Omni Switch, so I'll be showing you that later. But uh, then locks in animation gestures, miscellaneous. These are all pretty basic stuff, and you get the multi window mode. So let's open the con dialer for a second, and then if I just go into recents, if I just tap on the multitasking, and if I just select any one, there you go. You get the multitasking over here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there you can see you can adjust it's it's still in uh, like beta testing material so it will lag a bit but you can just I guess you have to just drag it down okay just doing this will do um, I have no idea how to get to, through this just uh, clear the recents and yeah there we go so yeah it's still in beta and testing so don't expect it to be smooth and going to updates as you can see you have the um, uh, re resurrection ROM updates then you have the theme chooser you can choose the themes and stuff 
then date and light I did change the de LCD density so it was 280 by 240 by default but I changed it to 200 so that's pretty cool then you have tons of features as you can see over here so that's pretty cool you can even change the theme to dark or to automatic so it will just uh, change it to dark uh, when uh, at the night time so that's basically it memory you have uh, this feature is basically shows how much RAM is used this is uh, a marshmallow feature so you can get that in this ROM as well going back storage and USB I think you can get the um, SD card to run as the internal storage I don't have an SD card at the moment as well so but you can test it for yourself then going back you have the super SU so this ROM come this ROM comes pre-rooted so that's pretty cool going back into performance mode this basically launches the kernel auditor and then you can just overclock or underclock the uh, CPU if you want so that's pretty much it then going back again about phone 6 on marshmallow on April 2nd so that's pretty pretty latest one uh, so expect no more um, update coming soon then going into app draw let's see what else we get we get an add away so that's basically add blocker audio effects this is also pretty cool uh, to customize the audio and things so basically that's pretty much it going back here call an auditor as I said camera is pretty good as well uh, let me see so if I just uh, enable the camera over here There you can see there's the different UI over here. Uh, so there's my watch. It's turned off right now. But you get tons of options over here as you can see. Uh, many options are there. You can change the flash, storage location, the picture quality. Let's change it to 100%. Or let it be 85. That's on you. And yeah, just snap. And I'll take the picture. To video mode just do one thing tap over here and then go to video mode uh, or then you can even go to your gallery okay this is something else I think it's like a mode or something like that but yeah video works well just tap here it won't work right now because I'm just screen recording it but yeah video mode works fine then you get omni switch over here as I said just enable this and you'll get the thing on the right hand side they can see the green switch so just uh, you get few modifications like a tablet view I guess and nothing more than that okay so there are your apps so basically to ease your um, working of your phone nothing more there you can see just disable this for the moment you can just mess with this if you want then we have play store settings and the themes so yeah I'll be giving the rom download link as well as with the g apps in the description below so do check the out and yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching this video the battery life is pretty good as you can see i just plugged this uh, unplugged this right now uh, and yeah it's holding good no complaints as you can see 11 minutes and it's still on 98 percent 97 so that's pretty cool actually no issues in that so yeah that's been it. thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next video